Paradise Crew. My name is Alyssa with Griffin Alyssa, and I wanted to share with you seven things that you must see or do while in Puerto Rico. San Juan is becoming quite the popular embarkation port and easily one of our new favorites. We were really amazed at how easily the embarkation and debarkation process is in that port. And we knew that after our cruise on the Freedom of the Seas in August of 2018, that we would be booking a cruise out of San Juan very soon. Since we had an extended stay, we were able to experience so many things. So whether you're staying pre or post cruise, or you're just stopping in for the day, here are seven things you do not want to miss when visiting San Juan. Number one, the Bacardi factory. You get to see where and how the rum is made. And plus, if you take the mixology class, you get to learn how to make three different iconic Bacardi drinks. Add your welcome drink to the mix and it is well worth the $60 per person. If mixology isn't quite your speed, there is a rum tasting class for $50, or if you just want to tour the beautiful facility, it is $15 per person. The second thing you don't want to miss out on are the forts in Old San Juan. So there is the Castillo de San Cristobal and the Castillo San Felipe del Moro in San Juan. You absolutely do not want to miss exploring the forts. The history is very interesting and the views from the top are out of this world. There is a $7 per person entry fee, but it covers both forts if you are up for a full day of walking. Be mindful though, these forts were built a very long time ago to protect the island, which just means there are very steep staircases and uneven ground. If you would like to explore these forts before heading home, we would advise you not to bring your luggage with you. Stop number three, Senior Paleta. Popsicle lovers and gelato lovers unite. Senior Paleta makes homemade popsicles and gelato out of super fresh ingredients, and you can top them off with homemade fudge, sprinkles, or nuts. They are both delicious and refreshing on a hot summer day in the Caribbean get you a popsicle. Number four, La Factoria. We actually have not been here yet. However, we've heard wonderful things from our tour guide, Christian, from the Bacardi factory, and we will be making it a priority before our Disney cruise in January. La Factoria is one of the world's most famous bars serving the best craft cocktails. So we will let you know all about it once we get back. Staying in the food scene, number five is ceviche by Tony. Now I get it. If someone were to come up to me and tell me that I need to eat at a food truck that is parked in front of a convenience store in San Juan, Puerto Rico, I probably would give them a weird look. However, you need to do it. So their food is ridiculously good, super authentic, very local, loved every single bite of it. So if you are in Miramar, which is right outside of San Juan, you need to eat at ceviche by Tony. So after disembarking from our cruise and getting a delicious Senor Paleta popsicle, we discovered a cute little Saturday market right next to the port. It had all kinds of handmade and homemade goodies and treats. And as we were walking through the Saturday market, we came upon the Racy's Fountain. Such a beautiful area, great photo op. We highly recommend that you check it out. So the last thing on our list is to stay at an Airbnb. So if you're actually staying pre or post cruise, we know that it can be overwhelmingly expensive to stay at a hotel near the port. I mean, they can run you anywhere between $200 and $400 per night. So we would recommend staying at an Airbnb for that local experience. We decided to take the chance and it was totally worth it. It was such an authentic experience. We got to meet local people. We got to be in a local area and it was really, really neat. So if you like to be emerged in the culture of the area that you're staying in, 
please consider that. So I do have one bonus tip for you all, and it's about transportation. Uber does run in San Juan in most places, but the signal is blocked for the airport and cruise port for pickups. So that means you will be taking a shuttle or a taxi if you need to leave those areas. However, if you are at a hotel or if you're at an Airbnb or a restaurant and you need to Uber to those places, they will be able to drop you off. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not something that I necessarily considered. I always go places, I just pull up my Uber app thinking that I can do it. You can't always get an Uber in San Juan. So just keep that in mind. So those are the seven things that we think you need to check out while you're in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We plan to explore much more of the island, including the rainforest, when we return. What is your favorite thing to do in San Juan? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. We'll see you in paradise.